Hi guys, I'm Phoebe Wood and you're watching my channel Phoebe Wood Writes where I post videos about writing. Today's video is part two, part two of a collaboration with Kate Kavanagh and I can't stress that enough because you must go and watch part one on Kate's channel. This video won't make sense without it. The link is down below in the description box and I will pin a comment at the top of the comments section so it'll be very easy for you to find. Have you gone and watched it? Now that you've seen part one we can go straight on with the interview and speed paint. Question number six is what are Annalisa's interests and abilities? Once upon a time Annalisa was in good favor with the queen. She kind of grew up with Princess Quinta before her mom ran away and before she was demoted to being a servant. So she has a great education. She speaks many languages. She's very knowledgeable about like the interwoven political nature of all of the realms. But the thing that she's most interested in besides like her general survival are the Meridian maps and her hunt for them with Captain Breton. To go along with these speaking multiple languages, knowing a lot about the different realms. She really likes to read and gather knowledge that way, but mostly she likes stories. This is a point of difference between her and another character, Matthias, who loves like historical texts. Annalisa just wants to be told stories, like the Meridian Maps, were a story that she was told as a kid and now she's really on the hunt for them. And yeah. Question number seven is what assumptions are made about Annalisa by other characters and are those assumptions correct? Because Annalisa frequently changes her appearance based off of the location and and who she's trying to gain the favor of, usually people are willing to believe that she is who she says she is. Because Annalisa is so small, she also looks quite a bit younger even than her age is, so a lot of people tend to assume that she is much younger and more of a child than an almost grown adult on the brink of law. <laughs> they would be wrong. To their detriment, and Annalisa is happy to take advantage of that. Question number eight is based on first appearances, what do people think Annalisa's personality is? She's very young, wide-eyed, constantly kind of taking everything in, so she can alternate between looking standoffish and also very interested in what's happening, because she is quite interested but not always for the reason that people assume she is. Also as someone who acted as a servant for the Queendom for several years, she's very good at putting on a facade of a smile. Question number nine is does Annalisa stand out from the crowd and how? Again, other than her small stature, she actually kind of blends in pretty well. Depending on which country they travel to, more or less people will look like her, but overall there's no standout characteristic until we get further into the series when she's a little bit more scarred and it's a little bit more recognizable the kind of scar she gets. Question number 10 is how would Annalisa change her appearance if she had the unlimited power to do so? Other than making herself to look more like her father, the one person in her family that she truly loves, she wouldn't do anything to change her appearance. She jokes about adding a little bit more height and a little bit more in the chest area, but overall she's quite content. Question number 11 is how has Annalisa's journey marked her? So both to Annalisa's credit and her detriment, she's always very curious and has the unfortunate knack of running her mouth and asking questions when she shouldn't. As the series progresses, she does learn to control that curiosity a little bit better. And as she meets more and more people as they come through this kind of pirate ship, she learns more about the people People that are living in the different realms and how different their experiences are to her and she's better at not making assumptions so quickly. But during this progression the curiosity and the assumptions get Annalisa into a lot of trouble and you know just generally being a pirate trying to steal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so she has a lot of physical scarring, a little bit on her face, but more she has a characteristic burn mark on her forearm. And some of the physical reminder of what she has done acts as the catalyst for her to eventually sort of evolve. So this is the finished portrait of Kate Kavanagh's character Annalisa from the Meridian Map series. I find it so much fun taking on the brief of someone else's character and trying to translate that vision into a painting. It was especially interesting in this case because Annalisa is somewhat of a chameleon. She changes her appearance to suit the company she's in, so I could have chosen a lot of different looks for her. But I decided to go for a really pared back look of what I think is the real Annalisa. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time for another video about writing and don't forget to comment bye bye!